Hello, my name is Brenda and welcome. Um, as most of you know, I'm doing the uh, frenzy of finishes. I had 23 projects that I wanted to finish by the end of the year so that I could, so it's 23 finishes by 2023. So I thought I better come on here and give you a quick update on where I am. There's my board. This is all of my projects <clears throat> that I've started. And these are the 23 that I wanted to have finished by the end of 2023. And I have now finished 11, which means I have 12 of 23 left to go. The red ones are finished. I'm just under halfway. I think I can still finish maybe five or six more by the end of the year, especially since I'm off of work until January 3rd. So I'll show you, I've had five finishes since the last video, so I'll show you those, and then I'll show you the ones that I've made progress on since then. So this one, Green Coat Santa by Teresa Kogut. It's one of her Patreon pieces. I finished that one. It is the called for DMC, except I changed the color of his coat to a uh, bayberry. It's either Gentle Arts or Classic Color Works. I can't remember, but I do remember it's Bayberry. And then I changed the dark green, that's the highlights, to a darker green that matched because the green that was called for was just blending right into that Bayberry. Oh, and then I changed his beard from the DMC to um, Silken Colors. I keep telling you that it's Gloriana. It's not. It's Silken Colors winter moon. So everything that was that color I changed to winter moon. Everything else is the called for DMC, one strand of floss over one fabric thread on 28 count even weave. And he is so cute. I love the little star snowman. And then there's this little snowman up here. And the deer and the little house. So cute. Oh, and I forgot today to say today is Wednesday, December 21st, the winter solstice. This one is Heart of Winter by Little Dove Designs. And I finished that one as well. It is the called for DMC. It is 32 count linen. I can't remember the color, but it's in the description box below. I used two strands of floss over two fabric threads. The called for, oh, I do remember that I changed this dark blue color because of the fabric color I had chosen. That dark blue color was not, that was called for was not working. So I changed that dark blue color and I'll put that in the description box below. This one was so fun to work on. I love it. There are three more. All four seasons are charted like this as a heart by Little Dove Designs. And I have purchased the other three charts. So probably doing those sometime in the future. This is M Designs. They did the whole alphabet. This chart is letters A and B. I just did letter B. This is 56 count antique white linen. And I used a Vera Soie 100 slash three silk thread in black. It's just beautiful, I love it. I think I'll make it into a little pillow. And then I'm working on the 
snapshot series by Pine Mountain Designs. There's one for each month. This one is January and I have that one finished in here to show you. But I also finished this one, December. Oh, there are two December versions. This is the Old Holy Night version. And it is at work in my office. I forgot to bring it home. Um, if I have time, I'll insert a picture of it right here. And then I also finished January. I started doing these in September. So I have September through January done now. This is the called for fabric. 32 count petty point natural with white points. And I just thought it was, I've never stitched on this polka dot of fabric before, so I thought it'd be fun to try. I'm using the called for DMC floss, two strands of thread over two, two strands of floss over two fabric threads. And then since I have finished January's and I don't plan on starting February's until towards the end of January, I am going to call this as a finish for the purposes of what I wanted to have done by the end of the year. This one, hands-on design, loads of fun. Mine is on, I'm trying to remember what count. 32 count. It's a 32 count fabric flare that looks like whiteboard. I think it's called whiteboard. So I did two strands of the called for DMC over two fabric threads. I think I'll do the other two eventually as well. There's three in this series, but not right away. But that one was so fun to do and very simple. Okay, I think that was five. <laughs> I hope so, because that's the bottom of my pile. All right, so then I'll show you of the 12 that I have left that I wanted to get done by the end of the year. I'll show you progress that I did on those. And I also had one new start. Most of you probably remember that I've been doing the seasonal montage series. The artwork is by Janet, Jan Stever, Janet, Janet Stever. I've started one on the beginning of that season all of this year. This was my last one to start. I started it today since today is the first day of winter. Um, there are two versions of this in cross stitch. It's beautiful artwork, so I'm sure there's lots of, you can find it lots of places, but as a cross stitch, Pain-Free Crafts has a full coverage version of all four seasons, but you can also get it as a Jan Lin kit. And these are the two, I printed them side by side so that I could see the difference. I love the colors on the full coverage version, but I just can't bring myself to add four more full coverage versions to my whip list. So I decided to do the smaller kit version. The kit comes with 14 count Ada, that's kind of an oatmeal color, but I decided to, all four of the ones I started this year, I dyed fabric for because I wanted the fabric to be more like the color in this um, full coverage version. I have, so I started with 36 count light mocha linen. And then I over dyed it with Rit dye in Marigold. And I've just started on that row of leaves right there. This is what I have so far. Just worked on it for an hour today. I'll work on it some more after the new year. 
but I wanted to start it today since it was the first day of winter. And get the bin over here closer. <laughs> okay. I can't really remember what I've worked on since the last video because I, again, waited too long to make another video, but I'll try and remember. I'll just show you everything I think maybe I worked on. This is a kit by RTO called. roasted chicken with potatoes it just makes me laugh i think it is so funny it came with 16 count ada but i decided to do it on i think this is a 36 count white even weave fabric it'll be in the description box but i'm pretty sure it's 36 count antique white And this is what I have so far. I feel like it's at least halfway, maybe two thirds, because most of this right here is left blank. And there's a lot of half stitches out here as well for this part of the chicken kind of leans over this way. That one has been lots of fun to work on. It's got so many bright colors in it. This is Snowy Greenhouse by Nora Corbett. call it the fancy dancy house <laughs> it's like a fancy lady only it's a house so it uses all the specialty threads all the beads it's even got some treasures on it I don't know if you can see all the sparkle this is a blue sparkle thread all of this light green is a is a krynic braid the windows are a gold sparkly gold braid there are beads on the tree and right here and this treasure and up here and up here this has just been more fun to work on That one should definitely be finished by the end of the year. It is the called for fabric, which is 32 count sea spray linen with all of the called for fibers and beads. And it's two, like the braid, you only use one strand, but if the parts that are DMC, it is two strands of floss over two fabric threads. Marie started one in the same series, Marie Bossy Daughter. She is doing the Clockmaker's House, I believe. And then my oldest daughter, Catherine, Boss Daughter, is stitching again. And she started a Hade. I have an unearthed design, a full coverage. Um, it's by Amy Stewart. And it's a beautiful landscape scene at night. I will put the name of it. Arcadia. I believe it's Arcadia by Amy Stewart. The max color version, of course. So, and I'll put that in the description box below as well. But uh, next time Marie makes a video, hopefully she'll show you her clockmaker's house. This one is not one of my 23, but it is a stitch along I'm participating in. 
the Sunnyside Sampler, Stitch Along. Anyone's welcome to join us. It's Sunnyside Sampler, S-A-L is the hashtag. Um, I think we also have a second hashtag that's October OCT to OCT SAL, October to October SLA, because we started it in October at the at the Stitch West Retreat, several of us. But there's many more doing it that don't go to the Stitch West Retreat. Anyone can join us. It's just called the Sunnyside Sampler by the Drawn Thread. We have it divided into 12 sections. You can see that on Colette Kingsley's Instagram account, how she's divided it up. I can't remember if I put that picture on my Instagram account as well. I'm Handwork Maniac. I'll put her Instagram account below, but she also has a floss tube, um, the highway stitcher, and she showed it on there a couple videos back. And then I'm using the called for threads, which are dinky dye silks and needlepoint silks. Um, but there were several people who wanted to do it in DMC, so I pulled the called for threads and then chose DMC threads because there's no DMC conversion listed on the chart. So I chose DMC threads that I thought looked good, and I did post that on my Instagram account, that DMC list, and Colette also has that on her Instagram account. And it may be in the description box below as well. I can't remember. I think it is. So we finished the first section by, I think it's the 22nd is when each section ends. So I finished the first section before November 22nd, and then I need to finish the second section by December 22nd. And the second section just goes right here where this tree ends, right here. So I'm almost done, I just need to finish the tree and add a flower right here. This part of the saying up here, keep on the sunny side, and it keeps going. Claire Cross has the first line of the song, keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side, keep on the sunny side of life. That part is over one. And there are some special, a few specialty stitches in this, not very many, but that is quite normal for the drawn thread. Oh, and I did backstitch my windows because the two colors were so similar you couldn't see the window panes. So I backstitched the windows in white. And I might change the color of these flowers in this tree because someone else was working on it. I think it was um, Kim, my friend Kim. And I wasn't sure I liked the color of the flowers on that topiary tree. Mm, can't remember if I worked on the big zipper since the last time. I don't think I did because it still has the cue snaps off. This is the big, big round zipper by Bent Creek. It was a kit that came out many years ago and it comes out in five Six. There are six different kits that you need to buy to do the whole thing. Um, the, it comes with the fabric and the pearl cotton. It comes with a really large 18 count linen um, fabric that, not linen, 18 count linen type. It's probably, it might be linen. So it's a very large count and you do it over two threads with number five pearl cotton. So it's very chunky, stitchy. I'm doing mine on 25 count potato Lugana over two threads, but I'm still using the number five pearl cotton that came with the kits. This is the new normal by Long Dog Samplers. I chose my own colors and I'm using Sulky 12 weight cotton thread. S-U-L-K-Y is the name of the company. They also make thread for sewing machines, lots of other kinds of thread. So 
So if you want to stitch with it, make sure you have the 12 weight. You can get it either in these petite spools, this size, or these king, I think they're king size spools, or in a jumbo cone. But these are the colors that I chose to use. One, you don't separate this, it just comes off as a pretty thick cotton thread. So one strand of thread, and I'm doing it on 30, no, this one's on 40 count, 40 count white antique, 40 count antique white even weave. One strand of the thread over two fabric threads, and I'm working right here. This is what I have so far. It is fun to work on because that just have that one strand of floss thread and you just can go and go because it's um, big blocks of color. I finished this this bunny square and now I'm working on this. There's a big circle right here that I started on. The list of colors that I'm using for this is in the description box. Uh, I haven't worked on that since I showed it to you, or... Oh, I think I might have worked on this one. This one is Hoidu Toidy by Long Dog Samplers. I'm doing mine on 40 count mallow. I'm using a Mrs. Seda silks. She did a conversion. You can see it on her Etsy store, specifically for this piece. I'm using her conversion, except I did not use the pink. I added two or three reds instead, and I changed a couple of, oh, and I think I added a brown, a fawn color, and then I changed a couple of the other colors to different symbols. But there is information about that in the description box. I finished this section over here and started down here on this next section. One strand of silk over two fabric threads. This one is the Flower Shop by Thistles. I have finished all of this. And I've started working down here in the flowers that are done in rows, like a garden. So I just need to finish that and move up and finish these trees. And it is being stitched on 46 count raw or natural Zweigart linen with the called for Weeks Dye Works threads. One strand of floss over two fabric threads.
those colors are just gorgeous it's a very happy piece And the last one that I have worked on since the last time I showed them to you is not that one. Peppermint Candy by Blackberry Lane Designs. I'm doing that. It's an ornament that has a front side and a back side. You can see that here's the front side of this elf that's on the roof. And here's the back side of the house with his back side and the ladder. So this is the back door. This is the front door. And you put them together so it's a double-sided ornament. I think I'm just going to do the front side this year and I'll do the back side next year for Christmas. I'm doing it on the called for 32 count gingerbread linen by Picture This Plus with all the called for DMC. Now this is a small piece, but it has where is it? It has this many colors in it plus some beads and buttons. There's several buttons that come with it. So it is a lot of, you know, two or three stitches with this color and then you change to two or three stitches of a different color, which makes it absolutely gorgeous. See, these candy canes have three or four colors of red, two colors of green, and then the white is one white and two light different light blues just in the candy canes so it is just beautiful but a little fiddly to work on that i do have some beads on there already on the roof and on that side that's finished not sure if you can see them but they make it nice and sparkly, especially up there on that snow cone, or I mean, ice cream cone. And that one has been more fun to work on. Two strands of floss over two fabric threads. And I think that's everything. I'll keep working hard till the end of the year, see how many more I can finish. And I will do a video uh, really close to New Year's, maybe right before New Year's or the day after New Year's maybe to show you what progress I made and my plans for 2023. I will be doing on New Year's Eve, uh, Kia B and Pam, at Just Keep Stitching and several others that I can't think of are doing the 12 by 12 challenge on New Year's Eve where you goes from like noon to midnight and you can either start 12 new projects one every hour or you can um, maybe there's one you want to work on for 12 hours or you want to do pieces you've already started there's team new starts and there's team whips I'm definitely team whips <laughs> um, I might do a couple of new starts I'm kind of waiting to see how close I am to a finish on some of my 23. Maybe I want to just focus on one for the night, but I might have three or four projects and maybe do two or three hours on each, or maybe six projects and two on each. We'll have to see, but that will be fun. I'll put the hashtag for that below, or you can go to Kia B on Instagram and see the information there and I think that's everything I hope you have a fabulous holiday season a wonderful Christmas if you celebrate Christmas we definitely do at our house it's going to be lots of fun all my kids will be here and we'll see you another time next time in a week <laughs> bye bye